When an ugly sorcerer deceives the Caliph of Baghdad with a magical flying wooden horse, offering to trade it for what the sorcerer deeply desires, the Caliph's daughter, the Princess Dinazad, the Caliph's son, Prince Ahmed, tries riding the wooden horse himself, accidentally soaring far and high to distant lands, discovering the magical realm of Wakwak, filled with generous maidens and malevolent demons. Prince Ahmed falls deeply in love with Pari Banu, however, when Pari Banu is kidnapped by the ugly sorcerer and sold to the Emperor of China into a marriage against her will, only to be soon taken away by the demons of Wakwak, Prince Ahmed must hurry to save the woman of his dreams and stop the sorcerer's malicious intent with the aid of some allies and the sorcerer's nemesis, a powerful witch, and Aladdin with his magic lamp. This is Lotte Reiniger's The Adventures of Prince Ahmed, loosely inspired by 1001 Nights, and often considered the oldest surviving animated feature-length film. From its earliest images of introducing the cast of diverse characters, Reiniger's fondness for theatricality is made clear, as if The Adventures of Prince Ahmed mimics Asian shadow puppetry and British traditional pantomime with its blurring of multiple folkloric fairy tales and silhouettes of detailed paper cutouts. Lotte Reinagas, distinct animation style of paper cutout silhouette puppets, adjusted frame by frame, vibrant, memorable colours tinted on the frame, at a time which the appearance of colour within feature length film was uncommon, and a creative use of lighting was a method that she would use throughout her filmography, consisting of over 40 fairy tale adaptations. Cinema at its most direct, light and image come together for a theatrical fantasy experience that is not not dissimilar to the stories we were read when we were younger. While the adventures of Prince Ahmed may have a nostalgic quality, as if being read a storybook, it also avoids the stereotype that animation is exclusively a children's medium. Anna Madeleine, in her review of the adventures of Prince Ahmed for The Guardian, wrote that some elements link to contemporary animation, notably the character of Aladdin, now associated with Disney's 1992 film. Hard as it is to disconnect from the idea of animation as a kid's genre, Reinegar's work is a reminder that it existed long before the cartoon aesthetics of large-scale production companies like Disney and Pixar. With its intricate silhouettes and its wide-scale ambition, The Adventures of Prince Ahmed established early on within cinema that animation should be accessible, enjoyable to all, developing an animation aesthetic entirely its own that manages to avoid inspiring the commercialism of Disney, but instead inspiring the core and heart of its storytelling. A reluctant hero is given a goal and a clear obstacle to overcome. Prince Ahmed must protect Pari Banu and return to Baghdad by defeating the ugly sorcerer and saving Pari Banu from the demons of Wakwak. A clear-cut structural foundation therefore forms a structure that many Disney films would emulate in their own fairy tale adaptations. Lottie Reinaga's influence proves immeasurable. Her filmography, as well as the early use of her pioneering multiplane camera technique, which added the sense of parallax depth to her multi-layered backgrounds, are clear inspirations on filmmakers such as Walt Disney, Tim Burton and Francis Ford Coppola. Lotte Reinaga's clear inspiration from Asian shadow puppet theatre is an artistic medium which she had transformed with her own distinct touches, and her fascination for the adaptation of universal fairy tales and folklore into cinematic art. Her stylistic approach to storytelling therefore continues to inspire generations of filmmakers who follow in her footsteps, making Lotte Reinegger one of the most important filmmakers in cinematic history. In conclusion, The Adventures of Prince Ahmed is a captivating, vibrant film that demonstrates not just Lotte Reinegger's strength in telling and adapting fascinating stories, but also for her ability in developing an influential animation style that is uniquely her own. The Adventures of Prince Ahmed is often cited as her greatest work for its exciting narrative narrative, gorgeous visuals enhanced by inventive lighting and colour, as well as its technical ambition using the multiplane camera technique that would inspire animators to add the impression of depth to their own animated backgrounds. Inspired and sincere, the adventures of Prince Ahmed still effortlessly captures the imaginations of young and old alike. It goes without saying that this is essential viewing. A special thank you to my super Patreon supporters Gil and Constantin Bombelli.